we've got Steam, a Valve, releasing their Steam box early 2026. And what that means is there's going to be a Linux distribution in a lot of people's homes. And this intrigued me a lot. Um, I know I keep seeing people like Linux Tech Tip keep saying it's a PC. And if you don't want to use Steam, you can just install Windows on it. What are you talking about? I mean, you, why would you do that? Um, so the other week, uh, Steam pushed an update. Uh, Val pushed an update to Steam uh, 3.9. And what that meant you could do is you could run the 9000 series video cards on Steam. It's a bit of a rigmarole getting it to work, but I've done it. But I just thought it'd be interesting to have a look at not the Steam games platform to start with, but look at the desktop that you get with Steam and what you can do. And then what we'll do is we'll do a games comparison between Steam and um, Amarchi and my game scope launcher thing running on the same machine and the same hardware. So you can sort of see what do you really gain from Steam performance wise over a base install of Arch. Because in my mind, the first thing I do if I do get one of those Steam boxes, I'm probably going to wipe off Steam and install a Marchie because there'll be two schools of thought with that box, won't there? There'll be people who put it in the living room next to the big TV and play the games, which is what they Steam want you to do, if I want you to do. Or well, there's the others who have it on their desktop. Now, would I want to have that desktop to work with? Or could I put a Marchie on there? use my sort of games go games launcher package and have equivalent a port performance i just think it's a nice little cube probably a very expensive desktop unit but anyway so what we do quickly we'll have a look around steam um the desktop part of it you get and then we'll do some gaming comparisons between the two uh between a marchie with the game scope launcher on it and steam which is game scope so with that said um let's dive in